uh, left handed that. <laughs> it's leaned. So there's our little repair job. Not bad if you don't say it's too much else. So um customer spoke to his neighbour about this one. As you can see this is um, knackered. I think I've shown you this and I actually shown you this already. But yeah, we're back here to do this. We were on the porch yesterday, started on the roof. We're going ground to a halt because we got stuck. We got the main bit up, didn't we? Yeah. So give that a tap again. Yeah, this is disintegrating the bricks with it. Yeah. The next so, thing doesn't want to move, look. Drop it, the clean hole. up, rebuild it. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Yeah, because these bricks are so ropey, as you can see, we kept some from this one. Because that's been reduced with spare bricks, so we kept some to one side. And oh, then, Christ, that is heavy now. Look at, this. Look at that. Completely clean. That's a good, good argument for SBR. Plus it wasn't bedded on very well, look. So yeah. And the, the only downside of all this is we have to um, put it in tubs, take it home, put it in the car and take it to tip because we haven't got a skip. If we'd known we were doing both jobs, we probably could, probably could have got a skip on the job, but it was um, we only found out anyway, that's sure we can get on with it. See that? Mm -hmm.
I, uh, I don't think Neil would have had as much fun if uh, the bricks were like this. Nobody has fun doing it like this, man. Period. Oh. Great, I've got a drink. Sounds good to me. You can eat. No, spoilt. I'm back a little bit. Not fun. Forty-eight. We're getting there. Twelve more to go. Not fun though. No. We need 66. 66? Oh. Yeah. We'll have to use all the bits of crap and halves in the middle. Yeah. And hopefully we'll salvage some out the middle for the, for the bait. So there you go. Customers just made a drink, so we'll have a quick, quick break now. It's a. Uh, considering it's fell over, it's putting up a fight in it. Yeah. So just there's another two course to come out of that, and then um, I'll jump back on the uh, cream with Alex. I've cleaned a few up. But just so you're not getting a big pile in our own way. So we'll see you after break. There we go, it's down. When you see a pillar leaning like that, you immediately think it's sunk. But on closer inspection, it had two big cracks in it as well, I think we showed it from this side. And the two big cracks were caused by, I'll Google these to work out what they're called. These are the brackets you used to build in, the gate hooks. You used to build them in, so sticking out your wall, like that. And then you'd have a, like a pinch. I was just explaining about these. I don't know what, what to Google. Basically, these things were built. You see, it's got like a fishtail on it. Built into the wall. Sticking out. Obviously, that's been cut off with a drill. It came out about here, and then it had a, a peg on the end, about that big. And the gates used to sit. The hinge used to be a, a, a like a tube. So that sit on the. So you could take the gates on and off. And what's that? What that's done? We haven't got the other one, I think, unless we can find it. This was, um, did your old lintel jacking, same as your lintel in your house, anything steel in, in brickwork that gets wet. So basically, it's been in there and it's rusted and expanded and popped it in two places. So as it's popped, it's leaned, it hasn't fell over, that's solid down there. So, um, yeah, it's just a matter of rebuilding it now. And getting some ties into the main wall because, um, as you can see, there's no ties in it whatsoever, it's completely free to fall over and move as it, as it wanted. But we'll put four screw ties into that, and that'll be rock solid when we're done. So, um, I think it's time to get a bit tidied up and then crack on. Well, now let's get back from the pub, he's on the toilet. Um, you can get a mix on and we can start building again. There you go, our mix is on. Now it's just sorting that out. I've just swirled the drive from it from yeah, Monday because it looked a bit dusty, so that's sorted. Look at the chaos, I'm taking one pillar down. There's the bricks, a few leftovers. Two tubs of rubbish. Another two tubs. Um, yeah. What a palaver. Oh yeah, the um, the pier cap needs cleaning. There's still a brick left attached to it actually in that well, brick in a bit. So that still needs sorting out, but I can do that. And once we get cracking, that's probably jump on with me. And then I get another course onto this, level it up and then just put a tie in it. And then probably put the new tie at the top here. And then there's, there's one brick I to do somewhere there, probably under the spot board. Yeah. And that's it. It's just after 11, I think, so doing all right. But when we're finished here, it doesn't mean we're finished. We've got to go home, put all the crap in the car and take the 
crap to the tip. Perhaps another hour when we get home. So I'm going to find somewhere to convenient to put you in, get cracking. Left handed that. You picked the wrong one to film. <laughs> Pressure's on. Finesse. So are you done with the four foot level now then? Yeah. Yep. Run them out. I just saw an interview with Anthony Mackie about uh, the new Captain America movie. Yeah. And he said, what are you looking forward to most of all? He said, I'm looking forward for Tom Holland to see it. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna say so he's coming with me. He's my date. Did you show him that? Did I? Yeah. Oh, did I send you it? Yeah. Oh. Because it was, because it was a while ago where they were all three of them were sat with each other. Him, Anthony, Tom Holland, and Sebastian Stan. And um, he goes, um, oh, I should go watch the Falcon movie. Oh wait, there's not, one. there isn't one. <laughs> so now he's finally, he's got, he's got his movie now. Yeah.
Do you know this? Yeah, it is, it is. Not everyone uses this. Found out why the other day. Because it's 25 quid for 5 litres. So I can do it if people don't use it. Yeah, that's 5 quid a litre. That's more expensive than petrol. Some people don't use it because it stinks. I'm doing the coating, not doing this bit. Yeah, I forgot to move the camera for that bit, but there you go. That's going on there. Be 15% to put the bed down first. 15% raise. <laughs> it's no good. That's the best stuff we have. Oh, you mean the razor's no good? The what? Is the razor no good or the mortar? The mortar. Oh. It's knocking up. Too late now. The guy showed me when I came back from pizza for the final time. He, he, he had a slice ready and he put it, he, he put it uh, fresh in the uh, heater again so it was fresh. <laughs> so we shouldn't have any time yet to wait for it. Okay. The Aventura one? Yeah. It's more like it.
Boom. There we go. One pillar. Two pillar. Technically three pillar, if you want to count that job. There you go. So that's this one done that was done a few days ago. And this one done today. This one has been tied in with screw ties, as you, uh, as you saw. And, and a uh, few brick and edge replacements here and there. There you go, lovely stuff. Happy days. So, that will be the end of our little pillar saga for this video. Yeah, two for the price of one. Yeah, and then we're potentially doing another wall, well, helping, doing another wall patch up, a few doors down. Um, tomorrow, uh, depending when uh, if the price is right and if the weather's right. Because we're expecting storms at the moment, so we'll see. But thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up and tap the bell. There you go. See, I've messed that up now because I put the thing on as Alex says it, so I've messed it up. <laughs> <laughs> and if you, uh, yeah, you need to like the video if you enjoyed, if, uh, if you want to see more, subscribe and tap on the bell. It's always a massive help and we greatly appreciate the support. Any additional. Yeah, no, won't do it this time. <sighs> this has been a wall, wall and pillar fixing with Steve and Alex. We'll see you in the next one.